nature, there's an explanation for everything, from the, the pattern and formation of the clouds to the pattern on a flower petal. This is fractal geometry. Originally, a mathematician named Georg Contour discovered that if you took a line and extracted the middle third from that line and did the same to the extracted third and repeated the process over and over again, you would get an infinite number of lines. At first, these things seem to go unnoticed. Take, for instance, a tree with limbs branching out in a very mathematical pattern. This mathematical phenomenon found in nature was just recently accepted as a form of geometry. Finally, in 1975, a French mathematician named Benoit Mandelbrot published a book about fractal geometry and explained how one could mathematically handle this pattern. You see these patterns in rocks, trees, algae, flowers, even the human body. The list goes on. You just have to look. Similar to Cantor's monster, you can make a connection between nature and mathematics. Fractal geometry is a major key in understanding our natural surroundings. If we act now, mathematics could play a major part in preserving our natural surroundings. Believe in a future with more forests and a better understanding of our natural surroundings. With everyone's help, we can make this world a healthier place, all thanks to fractal geometry.